For rationalizing the denominator, these are binomial denominators, so we need to use what we call a conjugate pair. Okay, so in this case here, I'm going to do a, and in a, since the denominator is 2 minus root 3, we need a conjugate pair of, and I'm just going to do this in a slightly different color here, we need a conjugate pair that looks like this, 2 plus square root of 3. And we multiply these together, we're going to end up with a square minus square, or a difference of squares, which then will allow us to get rid of the square root. If we don't do this, we're going to end up with a square root. If I multiply by root 3, I'm still going to end up with a 2 root 3 in the denominator, which I don't want. So multiplying by the conjugate, in the numerator, I'm going to have 5 times 2, which is 10, plus 5 times root 3. That's going to give me a 5 root 3. In the denominator, we're going to end up with 4. So first times first, outside is going to be plus 2 root 3. Inside is going to give us a negative 2 root 3. These terms always cancel out. So then we need to multiply the last. Last times last is always going to give us a negative. And then root 3 times root 3, that's how we're going to get rid of the square root. Root 3 times root 3 gives us a minus 3. So these, ter these terms are zero pairs, so they cancel out. So we end up in the end, in the numerator, 10 plus 5 root 3. In the denominator, we end up with 4 minus 3. And then this becomes over 1. And so we just leave this as 10 plus 5 root 3.